Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm filming this for the second time because I've just gone to upload my video to edit it. And basically the first bit of the video was on a memory card that was corrupt. So um, basically I'm doing a Q&A today because I'm on my second trimester of my second pregnancy. And I really didn't think people were interested in pregnancy and pregnancy things on YouTube. I thought that it was more of like a fashion -y thing that you guys like, but apparently people want more life uh, as well. Um, I'd love to hear if you guys prefer fashion or like lifestyle and stuff as well. Um, and if there's anything in particular you want to see, um, to leave it in the description. And also let me know in the description of what you'd like to see um, in terms of fashion and life or um, pregnancy, mum or both. Um, but yeah, so basically I just did a little intro to let you guys know that I'm 17 weeks pregnant, it's been really hard, it's been completely different to my previous pregnancy when I was pregnant with Margot, um, I've had a lot more sickness, I've been ill with my, my immune system is just absolutely shot, I've had chest infection after chest infection, I have been run down, I have had bruises all over my legs, I have been constipated so badly. <laughs> TMI, um, but yeah, I've just had like the worst, 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 like things. Well, obviously not the worst of people who have HG and like so many other things. But yeah, I've been really concerned about the bruising and just like generally feeling rubbish, but had no idea what's wrong. And the doctor the other day gave me literally about a hundred blood tests and found out that I'm iron deficient, and that can actually cause the bruising in your legs. So really grateful that it's just that and not anything like blood clots, which I was really scared about. Um, but yeah, I've missed out some of the first questions because it went to the, because it got deleted, but I can't remember what the questions were. So I'm just going to have a look at some of the very first ones and reply to those so that I don't miss them out because I think I answered like the most basic general questions first. Um, so the age gap will be 18 months. I'm 17 weeks pregnant. Um, Margot is a year old now. How do you know you're ready for baby number two? We didn't. <laughs> we probably weren't ready. We we've been thinking about it, and we knew that if we wanted to have two children, we wanted them to be close in age, um, so they could grow up together. Um, and yeah, we just I was nine months pregnant, and we had a discussion, and we were just like, well, I mean, even though it feels early, in nine months' time, Margaret's gonna be eighteen months, and that's kind of the age gap we want. Um, and I felt like ready to be pregnant again because obviously my body had recovered um and we were just like should we start trying may as well um and then it happened straight away <laughs> so that's our story general updates just done that products you do again and what you do differently best tips for a one-year-old so um i think i'm probably going to do a separate q a about margot um products i'd use again my spanx 100 percent my spanx leggings i'm wearing the spanx i'm wearing them now they are amazing i live in them they're really good quality i never stopped wearing them to be honest i wore them when i wasn't pregnant they're so good postpartum too and they stretch with, with you so they're not like saggy around the waist they've got like built-in stretch so they're amazing i'm actually having another pair come very soon because i get very sad when they wash uh, also mama mio bump cream i will link below i use that throughout my pregnancy and didn't get one stretch mark so i'll definitely be using that again though haven't bought it yet um, because this pregnancy has just flown by. Things I'd do differently, my birth, I would um, probably not have an epidural because my epidural failed last time. I'll link my birth story and pregnancy Q&A from Margot below as well and everything. Um, but yeah, my epidural failed, which meant that my legs were numb, because I numb my legs, but I could feel all the contractions and pushing and everything. Um, so I was basically just sat in pain and my midwife was horrible. She didn't believe me that it didn't work. Um, so A, I wouldn't have an epidural, I'd just be like, I've done it with no pain relief before, I can do it with no pain relief before, again, because obviously you can't have gas and eggs in my lungs. Um, so I'd probably just be like, I'd rather have no pain relief and have like birthing pool or something than be um, stuck in pain on a bed. Um, and yeah, I'd have, I'd have the balls to say, I want a new midwife, you're horrible. <laughs> Um, though I probably wouldn't because I'm absolutely, well, I'd have the balls to say to Jack, <laughs> go and tell her to leave. Um, baby essentials. I tried to go through this, um, in the last one, 
but there's so many so i think i'm going to do a separate video and someone asked pregnancy outfits too but if i had to say my top three baby's essentials one um those little caddy things i'll link below the one we've got um so you can put like your nappies nappy cream wipes all in a little bag and you have it with your changing mats really handy um have changing mats up and down upstairs and downstairs or like whatever so you've got them um wherever you need them in your bedroom um and then those baby grows i've got built-in feet and hands because those little mitt things get lost and they've got sharp nails um and they scratch themselves it's horrible um so yeah i'll link the ones that we got we got some from marks Spencer's, just loads of white ones did you know you're pregnant before you tested? Yes, I did. Well, I was like 90% sure because I was late and I'm never late. And then when I was late, I started thinking, sorry, I'm squinting, the sun's quite bright behind me. Um, I was thinking about it and I was like, I did get a migraine and I got migraines when I was pregnant with Margot. And I was like, I've lost loads of weight recently and I lost loads of weight when I was first pregnant with Margot. So I was just like, Maybe I am pregnant and I'm never late. I'm usually early, if anything. Like, I'm not one of those people that gets a few days off. <laughs> so, yeah, then we did the tests and we did like five or six and they were all positive because I <laughs> weed like all over the stick to begin with. And I was like, I'm sure it's fine. And Jack was like, No, I'm going to get more. This is like nine o'clock at night. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> it was a bit of a mad night. Any plans how you're going to prepare Marco or will you just go with the flow? I will probably think about it closer to the time because um, I did think about it for Penny like when we got back from Penny stayed at my mum's house when we got back from hospital I gave my mum like a dirty onesie of Margot's and she was like Penny's been carrying around everywhere and loved it um, and then like she kind of like knew her scent and stuff when she obviously I'm not going to give the baby a dirty onesie but um, yeah I don't know, I'm sure there's ways, but she's also quite young, so I feel like she probably won't um, be like as jealous. I don't know, if anyone's got any tips, let me know. She'll be one and a half. The surprising thing about second pregnancy, that it is completely different. I've also popped, my belly's popped way sooner. So I'm only 17 weeks now and I've got a bump. And before I was 70, before I was, um, and last time, I don't think I got even the slightest bump, like way smaller than this, until I was like 23 weeks. Did you suffer hair loss with Margot? Yeah, I did, but I've got quite thick hair, so I didn't really notice it. But I've got these bits of hair, like, I don't know where they are. I've got like random bits of like mega short hair. Um, so I obviously must have lost hair. Um, and then also like when I brush my hair now, I notice that my hair brush is like full of hair every time. Can you recommend a pregnancy pillow? I will link the two that I got. How's Margot's sleep going and how did you cope when she wasn't sleeping before? Not great. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's not been great. Um, she's teething at the moment, so she has been waking up quite a bit. Usually only like two or three times a night, which to be fair, like, is a dream compared to before. Before she was waking up every hour. Um, and we just took it in turns of sleeping on the sofa. Like, honestly, I don't know how we survived. I can't, like now when she wakes up twice, I'm knackered. I, I can't believe that we survived. Um, but yeah, her sleep is good compared to what it was, if you know what I mean. But not the best. Is there anything you would change for pregnancy, birth, or raising for the second baby? That's quite a quite broad question. Um, so pregnancy, I mean, I was gonna try and eat healthier, but as you've heard, <laughs> that hasn't happened. I just don't seem to have the time. Um, but I eat out quite a lot to try and eat healthier. I know that's like the most awful thing to say, but I feel like if I go out for lunch, then I will pick the healthy thing on the menu. But if I'm at home, like it's just easier for me to just pick, like pick a bag of crisps. Sometimes I don't even have a proper lunch. It's terrible. I honestly need to look after myself and this other baby way better. Raising of the second baby, things I do differently. Probably just like cut out all the faff. <laughs> I feel like, I'm hoping I'll be more confident, but obviously every baby is different. Definitely think I would like the sleep and stuff. I'll try and get them to sleep unaided and not give them like sleep crutches or whatever they're called. Um, but obviously you want to hug your newborn baby. I'm not going to knock her lid sleep. Um, so we'll just see. 
Can you give an idea of the seminate, of the names you'll be like but won't be using? Um, we really liked the name Hector for a little boy, but I don't think we're using that now. And if we do, then we do. But we found another name that I think would be fair, so we're not using that. Um, also, we I really like the name Beatrice, but Jack doesn't like it. The girl name that I adore, Jack doesn't like, but I'm like slowly hammering away at him and hoping that in however many months time I'll have got my own way. Um, what are the names? There's so many. I can't remember them though. I had a list but I deleted it. Um, what were the other names? Oh, Teddy I love but Jack doesn't like that. Theodore I really like but Jack doesn't like that. There's some names I like too but I really hate the nicknames. But I'm not, so I don't want to use them. But I don't want to say them because I think it could be offensive to the people who might use the nicknames. How do you manage worrying about if the baby is well? I'm 19 weeks and so nervy. So I don't really worry about it because I am so busy with Margot and we've just moved. Uh, I did have a bit of bleeding um, for a day or two after we moved. I think I just did too much and I had to have an emergency scan and I was very worried then. Um, but everything was fine, thank goodness. Um, just kind of a, you know, brought the realisation home that I am pregnant and I do need to take it easy. Um, but yeah, I think you just don't have time to worry on your second pregnancy. But on your first one, like, everything is so scary. And I feel like week 19 is peak before the 20-week scan. I was, like, freaking out. Um, I like, don't think I slept a wink that week, so I think it's completely normal. Did you get the COVID shots before pregnancy? I'm pregnant and scared to get mine. I did. I am going to get my booster too. I haven't got it, just purely because I've had chest infection of chest infection. I'm feeling really ill and I've just been like, how am I going to look after Margot? I feel ill and then also have just had the jab. Um, but I'm 100% going to get it, especially with all the rules relaxing. Like, I'm really worried, especially... Pregnant women, we are more vulnerable, and then also with someone who has also got a lung condition makes me more vulnerable, so I'm quite concerned about all the rules and relaxing, to be honest, and I need to get my shot, shot, jab, vaccine, ASAP, um, but I can't get it until, I need to get my flu vaccine too, and then I can't get that until two weeks after, so I'm probably going to try and get it at the end of the month. Top tips for sickness. <sighs> Honestly, it's the worst. I lived off Coke. Coke helped me so much. Dry cereal, ginger biscuits. Just do what you can. It's horrible. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. I am still being sick, but I don't feel sick anymore, so I kind of just deal with it. Um, but yeah, it's horrible. I was never sick with Margot either, so I just assumed I wouldn't be with this one. It's like crazy how different each pregnancy is so I can completely understand when they say how different each child is too. Congratulations to baby number two, are you taking supplements? Yes I am, I take Pregnacare Max and I did with Margot and she turned out pretty fine so I'm just using the same ones and then I'm on iron supplements too which I said at the beginning. I was taking vitamin D and echinacea too um, but I spoke to my doctor and she was like don't think you need those and like just don't take them basically so I stopped. How are you feeling about having two babies close together? I'm pregnant with two with the with the second with a similar age gap. Um, I'm feeling really excited. I can't wait to see them together. I don't think it's going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. But I've got an amazing support network around me, and I also just can't wait to see Margot's big sister. I think they're going to be adorable together, and. I just, me and my sister are 18 months apart and we are so close so I really hope that they'll have a lovely close relationship too um, and I think anything worth having doesn't come easy and I think that, yeah, um, it's not, I'm not by any way thinking it's going to be easy, I know it's not, people constantly tell me how hard it's going to be which by the way I think is quite rude, like people always message me on Instagram like people who I know were like not necessarily that well and like most people when I told them I was pregnant were like oh god that's gonna be hard or oh wow you're brave um no congratulations so yeah people have a very opinionated on it but I am doing it because I think that that's what's best for me and my family how's managing pregnancy 
when you already have another child, I don't know how to cope. I honestly, when I was pregnant with Margot, was like, how do people do this? But as I said, I feel worse this time and it's been fine. I just have to get on with it. Um, as I said, I'm very lucky that I have a very good support network close around me. Jack's mum has Margot on a Friday, which is what it is today, it's today so I can do some work. Um, and my mum is retired, so she's around a lot. My sister's around a lot, so like, I wouldn't say that I'm, most of the time, apart from on the Friday, I have Margot, but usually I'm with other people, so um, they'll like make me cups of tea and stuff and like make me feel a bit less stressed. Did you know you're ready for baby number two? I feel like it's the same as baby number one, like you literally are never ready. Um, and actually, when I first got pregnant, I freaked out and I, it, it happened for a couple of weeks. I did actually get upset at one point and I think it was mainly because everyone had the kind of negative reaction towards me being pregnant and I kept panicking and this is when Margot was only like she was waking up like every hour in the night and I just was like how am I gonna do it like with two um but I think I kept reminding myself that it's not Margot now that I will have another baby with it's her in nine months time because I was like think about like she's a year old now think about nine months ago when she was three months old, she couldn't do anything. And now she's like nearly walking, she's nearly talking. She's doing so much, like they develop so quickly at this age. So when she's one and a half, she's gonna be doing so much more. She's already sleeping through the night pretty much. Um, so yeah, I just think you have to remind yourself that it's not now, it's in nine months time. Um, so you have to think about the age gap and stuff like that. But yeah, we were just like, we wanted them close together. Like, I felt ready to be pregnant again, um, because obviously your body goes through quite a lot, um, and yeah, it was exciting. If I'm not mistaken, you had trouble breastfeeding, Margot, will you try again now? Um, I'm kind of torn on this one, because I feel like I, I definitely will do it as much as I can for at least the first kind of week, two weeks, but I think I would like to do combi feeding, because... I don't know how people do it, like, all by themselves, all through the night. I think women are heroes for doing that. And Jack helped me. So if you don't know, Margot had jaundice, so... And I got really bad mastitis, so I... She wasn't getting any milk, she was losing loads of weight, I was in loads of pain. And she had jaundice and had lost way too much weight, so we got put on a formula feeding plan. So we combi fed her, and I pumped. And I hated pumping, I cried every single day until I gave up breastfeeding and pumping. Um, and she's turned out fine. So she is like, for me, proof that formula is absolutely fine. Um, but I do, I would like to give the important first bit at least. Um, and then just kind of see how it goes. Because I know it's meant to be an amazing thing, but I also have really bad anxiety. And my anxiety was awful, I didn't sleep for the first week crying all the time and I honestly think that it ruined the first few weeks of having a newborn like I didn't really connect with her as much and I was just I just felt broken <laughs> like I don't know it was just I think it kind of ruined that time for me so I'm not saying no but I'm definitely not saying 100% yes and I think if I do do it I want to do a combination of both again it's been hard making Margot's meals with the morning sickness yeah Yes, it has, I'm not gonna lie. Especially pouches, cause like, at the moment, for example, she's teething, so every food, bit of food we make her, which we do still make her food, we try, she goes. <laughs> so we've been doing back to pouches, and um, like, yeah, they're just so gross. And when you have to put your finger in to check it's hot, not good. Someone said, I'm doing five weeks, and feel so unprepared. Best tips for expecting mummies. My best tip would be, don't worry, there's always 24 hour Tesco's, there's always Amazon Prime and next day delivery if you need anything or haven't got anything, you won't go without. Also, when I packed my hospital bag, I packed for like a week's visit and you have to remember as well, I mean, obviously every hospital is different, but Jack couldn't stay overnight if I was gonna stay overnight, so, I was like, I'm just gonna pack for like a 24 hour period because then if I need anything, when he goes home, he can bring it back. So you just try and remember things like that. 
um and yeah you'll be fine also in the hospital they are so helpful like i literally didn't do any nct i didn't read anything i didn't even watch a youtube video on how to put a nappy on i was so unprepared i was just like everything's going to be fine so when i had this newborn baby i was literally like clueless she's just had an operation by the way that's why she's wearing like a little baby onesie um and i had to ring the bell and be like can you show me how to put a nappy on can you show me how to dress my baby um and they are so fine, like, it's normal, it's fine, don't worry about it, everyone's really helpful and really lovely. So I think I'm going to leave it there because that is a really long video. Um, if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to leave them in the description box below. I do have more questions about, like, Margot in general and stuff. Um, so I don't know if to do, like, a general, maybe I should do, like, a one-year baby q a too if you'd be interested in that let me know and if you have any questions also let me know um and yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time bye